This week, the leader of the Royal College of Nursing spoke out against Health Secretary Steve Barclay, who is attempting to stop the upcoming nursing strike planned in England this May bank holiday weekend via the courts. Pat Cullen, the RCN's General Secretary, stated that nurses will not be bullied and silenced, and the union has instructed legal counsel to challenge the attempt. This industrial action is the latest part of a long-running dispute over pay and conditions, set against discontentment in other fields of work like teaching in England and Northern Ireland, and junior doctor strikes. This 48-hour strike would include nurses in emergency departments and intensive care units for the first time, which is sure to cause disruption for patients and healthcare professionals alike. The government and NHS employers believe this strike is unlawful and have asked the RCN to call it off. They argue that the union's six-month mandate for industrial action, which is set to expire during the strike period, will invalidate the planned walkout. The Court of London has now ordered the RCN to cancel the strike by Monday midday, or risk further action. But, since the RCN has no intention of cancelling the strike, they are now prepared to face the government in court. Cullen has called the government's decision to fight nurses in the courtroom instead of the negotiation room frightening for democracy, and believes the approach of using public funding to challenge nurses rather than pay them, is a disgraceful move. Give in to bullies and they will keep on bullying, she said. If the court rules in the government's favor, this could prevent the May Day strike from going ahead. But RCN members have already prepared to ballot for another six months worth of industrial action, which could put the government back to square one. No matter the outcome of the case, it seems nurses are set to fight for their rights and for the protection of their professional registration. The Liberal Democrat health spokesperson Daisy Cooper has condemned the government for not negotiating a fair deal, and all parties must wait for the High Court's response this week. We hope for a positive outcome for all involved, but, as shown by Cullen's statement, nurses will not be silenced.